what's going on guys this is Jove and I'm gonna show you how to install fight K no better time to download and install this program especially if you're a fight game fan this program allows you to play what essentially is final burn online against other people and they use a GGPO which actually is their system and how they connect everyone online and it's near low latency it's pretty good even with people with uh higher pings i've noticed myself while playing so this is the website right here it's gonna be fightk.com we'll be playing on windows click here and the download should come up i've already got it downloaded so now we're going to show you how to set this up Here's the installer. Comes in a Win32. Open it up. It asks, do you want to install Fight Kick? Yes. And I'm gonna pick a better location here. You pick wherever you want it to go. You just click on the folder. Let that install. Fight Kick was successfully installed. Now on your desktop, you'll have these two items here this one here that was the installer so you get fight cave one and fight cave two in this i'm going to launch fight cave two now on the website you'll be able to register create your account it's very simple just ask you to create a username a password and just link your email. We'll have instant access after doing this. Here we are in the launcher. Now that we entered this game here, doesn't necessarily mean the game is installed. You'll actually have to find those games online yourself. I click test game and it says that it did not find a the file. These are the files you're going to need for the game. Fortunately, I can't tell you how to get, get them here, but a simple Google search for these file names under arcade ROMs and you'll be able to find it yourself. Now, in the event that you do have the ROMs, what we're going to do is we're going to close out of here for now. Now, I have all my games in the original like Cade folder that I had. I'm gonna copy over files I have here. Go into the Fight Cade folder. Go right, right where it says ROMs. And we'll paste that right in there. Okay, so let's get right into Fight Cade 2. Once you've already signed in, you're going to remember your, your login, and it's just going to jump right into it. From here, this plus button is where you're where you explore the games. You'll see the games by listed by most users. And then descending from there, as you can see, this one has 167. And down here, we got single digit games for this time of night. Uh, one other thing to take note is that you will see a little R right next to it. And this signifies that there are rankings in this game. Most of the games that are ranked are the ones labeled Arcade uh, FC2. So that would be Fight Cade 2, where they have the integrated rating system. You'll see it on certain games, not too many. I see this one has an FC2, but it doesn't have a rank. Typically, the more popular fighting games up top. Now, this is not just relegated to fighting games because, as you can see here, people are playing Tetris. Uh, let me see. People were playing Mario Kart earlier that I noticed. Yep, right here. So, if we look in the folder, you'll notice that it has uh, SNES 9X. It has Null DC. Null DC, I believe, plays uh, Dreamcast and Naomi games. Yep, in there, net play. So now in the standard version that you download here, 
you'll be limited to three games on this left hand panel. Now, what does this mean? I clicked on Street Fighter Alpha earlier. And it's a game that's on my queue here that you can join. Another one here. Let me just go ahead and add this. We add part three. Now, you notice there's three here. This is learn more. You can't join this channel. Maximum amount of concurrent channels reached. It's not an issue here. Um, this is just mainly for sessions. If you're looking for continuous action here, uh, what it is is you'll be notified each time somebody challenges you inside of a lobby. So for instance, that's why you have a mute button here in case you don't want to hear that. So let me just go ahead and mute all of them because it could be loud at times. But say you wanted to enter another game, just hit this little leave channel button. We'll leave all three just for now. And then we can easily join in on another one. So it limits you up to three. Uh, I believe once you become, if you become a patron, it opens you up to more channels. And let's see here. Let's get rid of this. Let's join one that I have here. Free Fighter Third Strike. Now, before jumping into any game, what you want to do is you want to jump into the test game section. This is where you want to set up your controller and your the way the game looks for you. You would go to right here, this little main menu you would go to the map inputs for the controller. For me, I have already done this. So my inputs show up right here. So it's proof of concept once you set it up. And you open the game again. This is how you uh, will play interruption free when you jump into a game with someone, someone else, and you don't want to, you know, interrupt the game to set up your buttons. So here we'll hit OK. Another thing we can do here is on video, the video tab here. A few things you can do. Uh, you have the ability to take off the scan lines. You have the ability to stretch the screen if you like or not. Go back to the corrected aspect here. And a few things here. Fight Cade right here. It says display overlay. What this means is that while you're in a fight with somebody in the lobby, their name will show up up here. In this section up here while you're playing with them, uh, signifying that you're in an online match. Uh, display bigger overlay if you'd like. Show scores and show overlay data to files. Uh, save it overlay data to files. So this way you can just keep track of it and then the, I believe it makes a notepad file. Window size, we hit maximum size. It's just not gonna really do much. It's just gonna change the size of what the window box is. You can just drag it up to the top and it'll maximize here. You can also full screen the game if you like. Enter full screen. Alt enter will get you out. Okay. Uh, you don't want to mess with run ahead. This will normally add a lot more latency and will slow the game down and possibly uh, interrupt the connection between you and your opponent. Bit depth, 32 bits, makes it look good. Uh, this is for other emulated games. Choose full screen monitor. If you have multiple monitors, click here and you get to pick different monitors for when you uh, decide to make the game full screen. It'll default to that monitor. Or monitor settings here. Under audio, you get to pick the audio plugin prior to starting the game. Uh, X audio for Windows, of course, is always going to work. You can use a uh, reverb and a low pass filter for less bass. This right here, I normally just leave it at two points. Uh, this is the inputs again. Miscellaneous, you have uh, other options here. Modeless menu, so you can just get rid of this menu up here. Uh, you can scan ROMs and start up. Almost not necessary here, but it's always good to do. And application thread priority. If you're on a potato, you want to use these up here above normal, normally works. But since these are uh, 
arcade games, they don't really take too much to run on most systems. This can run on some of the older systems and older laptops out there. And this should be about it for most of the features here. Uh, again, just not too many options because you don't want to add too much to slow your game down so that it won't affect the online match. Uh, the soft algorithms here, you can see that some of these have been uh, X'd out. These are ones that usually slow the games down because these are using uh, upscalers like X2VR. That, that works on the uh, CPU so it can slow down the game. It's just best to leave it uh, point filtering if you want the pixels, linear filtering if you just want to kind of blur it out. You can kind of almost see the difference there. Right back to points. And we'll just jump in the menu here. As you can see, this is point filtering. And this is linear filtering. Kind of blurs it out, kind of does a blending effect. I like the point filtering, so we'll that. You're ready to accept challenges here and you'll see here you'll notice that people are looking to play uh you'll see here a letter and that's their rank so it's showing you their rank but it's also showing you their uh connection is must be wi-fi there right click on somebody to challenge them or check out their profile it actually takes you onto the website where you'll see the games they've gone up against other people so it does track the uh, games and you can view and replay it here. And then this is the list of people playing against each other. Do you believe there's a way to watch this? Yep, you can spectate in on the match. These are people who are listed as away. So if you have the yellow dot, you're listed as away. You want to jump in and check on the match you do so here. Right clicking, spectate. And from there, as you can see, you know, other people who are not available right now, you can see what games they're playing. So that typically means they have a few games queued up. They could get challenged. Come back and play in here, change games up. This will bring you back to the home page here. They have a Discord community. You can also check them out on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, definitely want to check out their Patreon. This is what patrons get right here. So this has been my walkthrough of Fight Cade 2. Hope to catch you guys in here, and I'll see you soon.